Dearest Lord, we come before you in this moment with praise and humility, looking on to you as the sole architect of our lives. May we be surrendered to you and be willing to move as your spirit bids us, is our prayer. Amen. Today's devotion is Moving into New Beginning. Our verse for meditation is Genesis 12, verses 1 and 4. Then the Lord said to Abram, Leave your country, your kindred, and your father's household, and go to the land I will show you. So Abram departed as the Lord had directed him, and Lot went with him. Abram was 75 years old when he left Haran. The story of Oprah Winfrey is as inspiring as she is. Her childhood, though challenging, seemed to have prepared her spirit to bend without breaking and her heart to heal despite the scars. As a little girl, she moved from place to place, living with different members of her family. At the age of six years, she moved to Milwaukee, Wisconsin. And though she later commented that this was not a time that she thinks of with fondness, it gave me ambition, she said. She built an emotional fortress through books, a path that Grandma Hattie Mae and her stepmom Zelma charted. Oprah did well in her early education through the federally funded education program called Upward Bound and later she was transferred, or I should say bust, to the all-white Nicolet High School in 1968. She was among the first group of African Americans that integrated this school. That must have been traumatizing for a little girl searching for a new beginning. Then there was the emotional uproot of becoming a teenage mom then a mom who buried her child. The other move was to Tennessee, where she completed high school as a more focused and determined young lady. At 19, Oprah became Nashville's youngest and first black female television news anchor, and at 22, she was recruited to co-anchor the 6 p.m. news at WJZ TV in Baltimore. Her news anchor career soon crashed. She was described as dull and stiff on the air and said to regularly mispronounce words. She was pulled from that role. This incident was devastating, devastating was her own words and it was only her faith that kept her going. When the station moved her to a failing talk show called People Are Talking, she embraced the move, worked hard at it, and soon the program became very popular. But it was not her stop. In 1984, she moved to Chicago, not afraid of challenges, and took on the faltering talk show AM Chicago. As we like to say, the rest is history. She moved until she found the right place for new beginning. Abram was one of the three sons born to Terah. The family lived in Ur. Then Genesis 11:27 tells us that Terah took his son Abram and his grandson Lot, the son of Haran, and his daughter-in-law Sarai, who was Abram's wife, and they went out with them from Ur of the Chaldeans to go to the land of Canaan, but they came to Haran and dwelt there. This was a closely knit family. Though Abram was married, his dad took him along when he left Ur. Terah's intention was to go to Canaan, and we do not know why he stopped in Haran, but he stayed there. Maybe he was just not the kind of person to carry through on plans. We don't know. But Abram's call came very direct and immediate. 
Genesis 12 verse 1 reads, Get out of your country, from your family, and from your father's house, to a land that I will show you. We often tell Abram's story without telling of his boldness to accept new beginning. Abram had no idea where he was going. Note God says to a land that I will show you. Imagine telling your family, I am moving, but I don't know my destination. That would sound crazy, right? But Abram moved anyway. Let's note one more thing about Abram's move. He was enthusiastic. How do I know this? Because his young nephew Lot was motivated to go with him. Had Abram been half-hearted about the call, fearful or hesitant, Lot would not have been so inclined. We often miss this point, but it is important as a half-hearted response to God's call is worse than saying no. Because not only do we hinder ourselves, but we hinder others. Abram moved immediately. Genesis 12 verse 4 says that Abram left as the Lord spoke with him and Lot went with him, moving into a new beginning just on the promise of God. One can get tired of moving. It almost seems as if everything you try falls apart and then you have to move again. Maybe it's relationship, careers, business venture, friends, or even your faith. But do not settle. If there is a stir in your heart, be bold. Oprah did not settle and it led her into what she later called her calling. And remember this, Abram's father left to go to Canaan, but he stopped in Haran and stayed there until he died. Abram was not going to make the same mistake. So by faith, he kept moving. Do not be paralyzed by past failures. Accept that disappointment may be God's way of closing doors that lead over a cliff. So just pivot and keep moving. Complacency is a thief of greatness. So hold on to Psalm 37 verse 5 that tells us, Commit your ways to the Lord. Trust also in Him and He shall bring it to pass. And we say, Amen and Amen.